Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. And we've got the lab coat on, we're ready to build. We have pack one of model spaces, build your own Thunderbird 2. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the build here and when I'm uh, doing something in the instructions I'll flash that up on the screen to show you what I'm doing uh, but I am working from this book. Obviously the PDF files of how to build this are online so you can get this yourself from the model space Build Your Own Thunderbird 2 website uh, but this just makes things a lot easier for me as you can see. Look, I'm going to be uh, doing the nose assembly first. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to need scissors and stuff but we'll have to see what comes. So I'm going to be building here but if you see me looking over here or I'm pausing or stuff like that it's because because I'm looking at the instructions. Okay, so at the moment we've got these two items here that we saw in the introduction video um, for the front cockpit area of, this, of the um, Thunderbird 2. We've also got a pack of goodies here which had those little uh, Tracy figures in and we've got these two massive packs here and here which I'm guessing we're going to be needing later. But what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to put these over here so we can just concentrate on the build area. Okay, first thing we're going to be doing uh, this is stage one. In this pack one, there's going to be four stages. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is tip out everything that's in this plastic bag. Get that thrown away. Make sure I've got no Tracy figures in there. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> we don't want that. Um, okay, I'm going to put these to one side. Oh, look at the little bits. Lots of little bits. And uh, first thing he wants us to do. Step one, we want to be taking this cocktail, uh, cockpit area here as you can see, and we're going to be putting this on this unit just like so. Now it has, a, it does tell you in the instructions what to do. It says join the parts by first placing the tab at the bottom of the windscreen. And there's a tab just there, uh, putting that in first and then putting it down. So the tab at the bottom is going to fit into that hole just there. We put that in and then just clip it in, making sure, being very careful that the number two lines up just like so. It fits in just like that okay it doesn't need to be pushed hard showing you on the uh, side camera there as well uh, that looks pretty cool already doesn't it <laughs> that was steps one and two and believe it or not that stage is now complete so what I'm going to do is just put this to one side as well and uh, we'll get on to the next stage now uh, we're going to be building an elevator car and for that we're going to need these items here which is the orange base there this piece here the two rear axles we've got those two just there, that's those two bits of metal there. Hoping you can see them okay on the top because I've decided to use a black base for this. Uh, we need four wheels, so we've got one, two, three, did I say four? I meant eight. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, there we go, that's the eight wheels. We need some hubcaps, which are these here. Four of them. I'm glad they're in the plastic because I'm sure we're going to lose that. That's pretty much it. We're going to make sure that the recesses are facing out in the wheels and we're going to be putting these on the axles. We're going to be sliding two wheels over the ends. So we've got one there and we'll put the other one on just like that. Again, so the, the, the thingy side's facing in, the silver side's facing in and the outside's going to have that area on there. And then we're going to be putting a hubcap on there to keep those on. So I'm just going to put those down there while I open this pack. Hopefully it opens okay. You just know this is going to be fiddly. There we go. And that's what the hubcaps look like. Again, show you on the uh, one of these cameras actually. Just like that. So this hubcap can only go on one way and it's going to fit on just like that on the end. It might be better. You'll hear a click as it goes in there. But that's now in. And that's the first set of wheels on. Uh, the next set, we're going to be doing uh, slide the wheels back up to the axle to invest against the hubcap. That's stage three or step three. And we're going to be doing the same on the other side here. So we're going to be putting two wheels on. One, two. That's step four. And then step five, we're going to be putting another hubcap on. Let's get that out. And we're waiting for the click. Make sure that's in. There we go. That just clicks then. Okay, so we've got there. Now, obviously, these wheels can go in there, but they're going to be held onto the ends there once we put it into this unit here now. So we're going to be doing exactly the same with the other one. So we've got one completed set of wheels there. We're going to be doing the same on the other side here. This is step seven. So one, two. We can get rid of that hubcap plastic now. Putting that in. 
I have been so itching to get started on this. I'm so glad that I am now started on doing this. <laughs> uh, but this is step seven, almost completed. That was a nice quick. There we go. We've got two axles now. One, two, all lined up. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting these axles into the orange base. The orange base we're using is uh, ooh, this one here. It's going to be going in this one. And they've got it facing this way around in step eight. And they're going to be clipped in, basically, or they're going to be held in just like that. You're going to have one in just there. And it goes sort of like at the top end of those little... Uh, you, well, you've got the indents on them. You can see the indents there where they're going to go. Just like that. So they're going to sit lovely in there. And that was step eight. Uh, that stage is now complete. That was actually stages. Uh, that was actually stage one. So stage one had two lots of things to do on that. Stage two starts now. So I'm going to put this to one side because we're going to be bringing uh, the cockpit area over. Now the cockpit area is in one of these packs here. It's in this pack looking just like that. So let's get this open. Luckily for me, I have scissors. Get yeah, this cracked open. Now you just know the problem is getting into the thing. <laughs> but to be honest with you, this is coming off really easy. And it's not going everywhere, which is something I didn't want it to happen. But basically, if I can get this off in one piece it means nothing's going to fall out the box now the excellent thing about this oops something's just catapulted out there put that back in i don't think there's anything else on there so we are clear uh look they gave us a screwdriver so i'm guessing we're going to be needing to use that later i'm going to put this over to one side now so we can see what we're going to do so step stage two uh number one we're going to be taking this cockpit area here and we're going to be lining up the pin on the inside of the pilot seat to indicate a hole in the cockpit. We're going to need the pilot seat, which is going to be a real tiny thing, I'm guessing. Yep, there it is. Look look how tiny that is. Let's show you on the camera there. Look, look how tiny. It's tiny. And it's got a little pin underneath it, you see. So we're going to need the pilot seat. We're going to need all the screws. We've got a pack of screws here, which I will get cut open now. Am I going to be able to uh, do this build without... Humming the Thunderbird theme, I wonder. <laughs> I am still wearing my uh, Thunderbird Zargo t-shirt today, because I do like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is line up the pin on the underside of the pilot seat and put it in the in the uh, floor. It's basically going to go in this hole, just there. If you look on the top camera, the very forward-facing hole. That's going to go in just like that. It actually got quite a bit of resistance when you put it in there. I think if we turn it upside down, it will still fall out, though, so... <laughs> I was going to say it won't fall out. Uh, but yeah, we put that in the cockpit. We're going to need to put a dot of glue to fix this seat in place. So what I'll do is I've got my glue ready. I'm going to put a little dot of glue just on the this section here. Now I'm using a glue which has got sort of like a vacuum in it so that it doesn't go everywhere. I've got a habit of once I've used glue once, no matter how much I clean the ends, uh, they block up. So I got this vacuum glue, which sucks it back in when you're not using it. So we put that in there, little top. You don't have to put too much glue in here, okay? It's only a little tiny speck. But that is now in, as you can see on the side camera there. So when I turn it upside down, as you can see, it's not going to fall out now. So that's the pilot seat in, and that was step two done. That's the stage complete. So, uh, well, it says stage complete. It's very confusing. In the instructions, it says stage complete, but I think it just means that section's complete. So... <laughs> Okay, we're going to put this to one side again because we're going to be bringing over uh, the lifter. We're going to be working on the elevator parts now. So we really are getting around with this, aren't we? <laughs> okay, right. So for the elevator parts, we need quite a few bits. We're going to have... Whoops. This is going to be tricky to get out. There we go. Get that bit of plastic off. We're going to need the platform. The brackets for it. So we've got one, two three i do like how this is laid out i have to say because it is easy to figure out what bits are going with what bits here four we're going to need these two uh i don't know what they are <laughs> we'll find out when we actually fit them uh we're going to need some more wheels so we've got four of them i think it's pretty much everything in this box by the look of it yep it's everything in here so i'm going to lay it out nicely we got 
some orange bits. Look, we've got some more hubcaps there for the wheels, I guess. A little cage. Uh, not sure what that is. I'm sure we'll be building that later. Bits there. As you see, I'm taking these out quite gently because some of these bits are absolutely tiny. And you just know I'm going to lose them if I don't have some care with them. Right, these bits I am going to have to tip out because they are too tiny. Just checking that I've got everything. I've got everything for that pack. Look at all of those bits. <laughs> wow. We've got the axle thing there. We've got a whole collection of goodies there. Okay, so this stage we're going to do the elevator car parts. So first thing we're going to do, just like last time, we're going to be putting these tyres on this axle. So we've got one, two, and just like last time, because we're adept at this now, we're going to be uh, just making the tyres up. This is going to be steps, just step one. They put it in step one. I think the hardest thing you're going to have on this is getting the pack open <laughs> for the hubcaps. It doesn't want to come. Ah! Oh no, I've just broke, I've just lost them. Where did they go? I've got one. I'll find the other one. Hang on. I've got the other one. <laughs> right, told you that would be the hardest bit. So just like last time, we put the hubcap on the end there. Push it down. And then we do the same with the tyres on the other side. One. Two. And we put the other hubcap on the other end there. So, that's step one done. Right, step two, we're going to be building up some of this little orange section here. Now what we've got, just check in some of these orange things here. Uh, this is the next bit, the orange bit here. We're going to be putting some nozzles in the front here. The nozzles are just like this. They're all orange. Um, I'm just going to see if they are directional. It doesn't look like they are, to be honest with you. It can only go in one way. Uh, this is going to be fitted in just like that. But unfortunately, it does fit quite... Um, tight in there but they are recommending you put a little dab of glue in there um i don't think i'm gonna because that ain't coming out <laughs> so uh that's just the nozzles in that was step two step three we're going to be putting these little black sections in now these have got orange points on the ends uh they can only go in one way as well but it's not on this piece we're actually going over to another piece which is this piece here this orange piece looking just like that um, we easiest way to do these is put it way the way round that it actually says in the instructions and they're going to go in just into these points there so we have one in there and we have one in there so basically it's looking they're pointing straight down it's going to look it's probably better on the side camera just like that uh, next thing we're going to be doing this is step four we're going to be laying the wheels that we just made just on top of that there because there is a, a little trough for this to fit in. So that's going to go in just like that. Uh, that was step uh, four. And step four also, we're going to be attaching this top section onto this section here. Now, again, this can only go in one way because you've got some uh, little points coming out there which are going to fit in the holes, the corresponding holes on the other side. So we'll get that in. Hopefully this will go in okay without anything falling out. That is perfect. There we go. So that's going to look like that and that from the bottom. And now these can't go out but they are still mobile as you can see on the side camera there that was step four uh turning around step five we're going to be adding some little uh little silvery bits which i'm guessing are these little bits in this in this pack here which are going to open these are tiny we'll get these open and uh i'll attach these to the side of this unit you can see now from this build the detail of what this uh, this build has got, because this is pretty amazing to be honest with you. Uh, but these are going to be going in. Uh, take the left and right side blocks indicated by their left and right marks inset. So there is a little L on these. Yep, this one's got a little L on it, and this one here has got a little R on it. The problem is that the uh, they're very tiny, and I don't even think it will show on camera. But uh, these are going to be put in with uh, a little bit of glue. They're going to be going in just like that. That's one side. So I'm going to put some uh, glue on these because I'm happy with where they are and they're so fiddly that I don't want to have to uh, put them in again. <laughs> this is step uh, step five, this is. So a little touch of glue. Don't need too much. Okay. And uh, I'm just seeing where the ends go on this. They go towards that end again. All right. 
Oh, it's fiddly. Right, hang on a second. Yep, we got one in. We'll do the same on the other side. Touch of glue. Put this side in. I'm doing all this without having tweezers at the moment, so that's going good. And that's those two ends in there, so it looks just like that and that. Excellent. So, uh, next thing I'm going to do is turn the chassis assembly round facing the fit left, the left and right air intakes. So these intakes, which are uh, these other small bits here, are going to be going on the front. Again, I'm going to show you on the top camera. We're going to put them in these sides here. This is going to need a touch of glue as well. I'm actually going to just put a touch of glue actually on the model here this time. Just a little tiny bit. That's enough to hold it. And uh, again, these can only really go in one way because uh, they've got a slot that corresponds with it. So I'll put the first one in. That one's imperfect. And the second one. And when these go in, you want to make sure that they're lined up with the bottom of the vehicle. That looks good. So I'll show you on the side camera. That's the front vents in just there. That was step six. Okay, step seven, we're going to be uh, still building onto this, but going back to the bit that we had last time, which was this orange bit here. Uh, we're going to take the rear chassis part, save from stage one, and fit the stage rear buffer to it and the outlined recess. Now, the rear buffer is this tiny, tiny bit of orange there. Very tiny, isn't it? Uh, this can only go in one way as well. This is going to be going in the recess, whoops, just like... This it's got a sort of like a an L shape in it, and the L shape's gonna fit in that hole just like that. But we are gonna need to put a little bit of glue on this one as well. I'm glad I warned you uh in the last part that you're gonna need glue. Because you'll start doing this build and thinking, ah. <laughs> right, got a little bit of glue on there. I'm just gonna put the lid on that so it doesn't dry. This might be a good time to start uh Oh no, that's cool. I was gonna say start with the tweezers. I don't like using tweezers when I don't have to, but that's that ending just there. That was step seven. Okay, stage eight, once we've got that, we're going to be uh, bringing this section up from before, which had the wheels on it, and we're going to be clipping this in. This can uh, clip in these little bits here. You've got some uh, extrusions out on that side. They basically just go in here. You push down. That's it in place. Uh, and then we're going to be putting, this is step uh, nine. We're going to be putting the tyres in here. One... And the second lot, two, whoops, and it fell out, just like so. And then we're going to put in this uh, section here with the uh, the little tabs on the top there, going to be pointing this way, it can only go in one way. And once that bit's in there, once that bit's in there, it's going to look like that. Look, it can move around, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be gluing the upper section, which is this sort of like pipe here. This is a suspension dampener to the indicated holes on the above chassis. So it's basically going to be going in from this hole here to this small hole here. So we're going to have one in there. Then this is going to be going in the back hole just like that. That just keeps everything together. Uh, this doesn't need gluing. It's quite, um, well, the, the, the back bit definitely doesn't need gluing. Uh, the front bit probably does, but it uh, doesn't say because... See, it makes it... Should I glue that, I wonder? Let's have a look. It Does it say? Uh, yep, it says glue it in place. So I think we will put a dab of glue in there because we don't aim on bringing this thing apart again. I'm going to put a little bit in there. And a little dot on there. That's perfect. These support vehicles really are detail. I still can't believe the level of detail in this build. So that's the back end in. And that's the front ending. Pushing that down to make sure it's in space. Make sure it's straight. <laughs> there you go. That looks excellent. So we've got a working uh, little little car there. <laughs> so that was step 11. Uh, step 12, we're going to be adding the front area of this, which is basically this section here on the side camera here. That's going to be going just above the con cockpit here. It's going to be sitting above it as well. So when this goes in, it's going to go into these little holes there just like so we're going to be uh, gluing that in so just gonna get another dob of glue and i'm going to put these on the little lugs here 
So one and two. Lovely. I'm always quiet when I'm gluing because I never do things absolutely right. I just want to make sure that that's in perfect. There we go. And that's that in. Can you see that okay on the side camera? There you go. We've got the little one above it there. Just going to put the uh, lid on the glue. That was step 12. Uh, step 13, I'm going to back that up a little bit now because step 13, we're going to be starting to join this frame together. Um, we've got two sections. We've got two side bits and two um, sort of like whip bits here. Uh, so the first one it wants me to use is this one here is going to be going into the side of this one here. Again, we're going to be gluing that. So we'll put some glue on the lug here. And I just went and put the, uh, just went and put the, <laughs> the lid on the glue. Didn't really need to do that, did I? Okay, so that's the first one in. Just like so. Best thing to do when you're putting these in, make sure the lines line up there. I think I might need a little bit more glue in that. Oh no, that's held okay. But you have got, I'm going to show you on one of these cameras here, you've got the lines on the outside there. You need to make sure that they definitely stay together. Uh, we're going to be doing that, repeating that all the way around so we've got a frame for this. So I'll be gluing all the lugs as I go along. Like so on. And again, I'm going to line up, making sure the ones are pointing the right way as well. Holding it in place. There we go. And last but not least, we've got these two lugs on the end here. It's good when uh, glue holds. Because that makes things good. <laughs> okay, so we've got the last two on. We've got one going in here. I'm going to just line up. And then the last one goes in the other side. Make sure it lines up and then I'll be using my fingers as a clamp <laughs> till it's glued right there we go so that's the finished frame we've got the ones on both sides as you can see there and there and then we've got the ovals going that way around on top on both sides here and here so that's that section done uh, once super glue is dried, place the frame over the raised ridge on the underside of the platform. Well, as we know, super glue takes about five seconds to dry. Uh, I believe this can only go in one way. Just like so. There we go. That looks pretty cool with a platform on there. As you can see on the side, it says Master Elevator Car. I think it says that on both sides. And the front, actually. Very detailed. Um, so we've done that. It says fit the compressor to the platform underside as shown. Use, uh, then use glue to screw its cage over it. See the next step for the correct placement. So we're going to be put using this cage here. Uh, I'm just going to see how this goes. And we've got this little piece here, which is going to be going on the, the little extrusions inside there. Now this has got a small hole and a big hole. As you can see there, it can only go in one way. So again, I'm going to be putting some glue just on these lugs here. One, two. And pushing this piece down. Just like so. That looks like that. You can see that on the top camera. And then we've got a cage to put over it. Now, when we put the cage in, um, the cage is going to be glued in as well. Now, the cage has got like four points inside there that this is going to connect to, just like so. Doesn't matter which way it goes in because it's uh, symmetrical all the way around, but you need to put glue on just these four end points here. So, whoops, drop the glue. So, let's just put a dab of glue on each one. One there, one there one there and one there that's good and get it lined up perfectly ah oh, that went in perfect first time look at that so now we've got the cage over it can you see what i mean about the detail in this now look at that and this is an underside this is something you're probably not even going to see so <laughs> but that looks pretty cool there okay so uh next stage we're going to be doing is uh we're going to take the hydraulic jack which is this piece here uh, now take the hydro and fit it into the outline section above. It's thinner and thicker pins make corresponding size holes to make sure you position the part correctly. So once again, in the uh, in in the uh, jack here, we've got a, a a big thick sort of rod and a thin rod. They can only go in one way, and they're going to be going in just like that. These need to be secured with glue as well. So I'm going to be putting these in place. Now 
it doesn't actually say uh, this glue's in place. You know what? I'm leaving it for now. I'm not going to glue it in place until it tells me to do. This does hold pretty stern on its own, to be honest with you. So uh, I wouldn't glue that. I'd leave that, to be honest with you. So that's that piece done. That was step 16. Step 17, we're going to be putting these uh, suspension arms in. Uh, again, these can probably only go in one way, but you want them to be, because they are symmetrical, they're going to be going in there and there, just like so. Oops, get the last one in. Going to look just like that. Now, the way that they've done them on this is that... See, I've done it wrong already. You want to have these uh, sort of like extrusions there and there pointing inwards just like so uh, other than that it is pretty symmetrical uh, it does say um, that we want to put uh, the tabs at the joint of the arm should be on the inside facing the jack like we just got there that looks really good actually um, again it doesn't say about gluing these in place so do I replace it or not I don't know I'm thinking that I do glue it. Should I glue it? Yeah, I'm going to glue it. <laughs> so I'm going to put a dab of glue, because these aren't held in like that middle section there. I'm going to put a dab of glue on each one of these sections here. One, two. Get that one in. And just a little bit on these. One, two. That's perfect. So it's looking just like that on the side camera there. And there it is from the top camera. Uh, so that bit's done. Now we're going to be putting this on this unit here. Now, as you can see, you've got three indentations here and there's three bits that this is going to be going into. It's going to be fitting just like, oh, it's going to be fitting just like <laughs> that eventually. I'm wondering whether we should glue that bit in as well. Um, basically, so th this front section here is going to be facing forward. So when this is in, it's going to be sitting just like that. Um, this bit here is just going to have to go in first because this fits on the top like that. I think I am going to, I can't think of any reason why I don't want to glue this in. So I am going to be putting a spot of glue just on the edges there to keep that lifter in. So we put a spot there, spot there. Make sure we put it in the right way, just like so. Yeah, I can't think of any reason why I'd want to take that out. Uh, I am going to be putting a spot of glue on these sections here as well to keep it attached to the vehicle. So we'll have one on that. We'll have one there. And we'll have one there. Right. So, get this lined up and push this in. And you know you've done it correctly because it will fit in just like that. There we go. And that is <laughs> one of the elevator cars look at that i'm so impressed with that <laughs> i could just play around with that and it looks just like that so i'm going to show you on the front camera that is the elevator car complete and i believe that would be stage two complete yay stage two is complete so i'm going to put this at the back here and we're going to get on with stage three Okay, I'll level with you. I know it's stage three, but this is actually a whole new day because uh, I was knackered after doing the first two stages. So I thought I'd uh, pass it into the next stage. But anyway, we're on stage three now. We're going to be doing the missile launcher and Thunderbird 4. So what I've done over here is, uh, if you see these lovely uh, things here, I've laid out everything we're going to need. Now for this one, we're also going to need glue. So everything that you see me attaching in here, I'm going to be gluing in. So uh Let's get on with it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is step three. It's, uh, well, step one, sorry. I've, why did I jump to step three? We're going to be putting the little uh, control stick in, which is basically, you see inside here, it's like a little steering wheel, which is going at the front. And we've got a hole just in front of the driver's seat, just there, that this is going to slip into. Now, basically, it can only go in one way. Sort of like, goes in so that this bit's, I'll show you on this camera, flat. And then we've got the angling up towards the steering wheel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab some glue onto this now. Uh, because I'm not going to get a chance later on, I don't think so. Okay, I'm just going to be putting some glue on. I'll show you this camera. I'm just going to put some glue on just this top bit here. Because that bit there is the bit that's going to have contact with the, uh, the actual cockpit area. So we'll get this in. A bit fiddly. Again, if it's easier for you, you can use tweezers, but... 
push it down as far as it will go. Just making sure that the uh, the actual steering wheel is centered as well, which it is. I'll show you on that camera as well. Look, there we go. And that's the first bit. And that was step one. And that's putting the, uh, the little control stick through there. I <laughs> can't believe how more detailed that is. That's great. Uh, okay, step two, we're going to be fitting the two passenger seats. These are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which way around they go, but they're going to be going into, uh, I'll show you on top can, these holes here. Uh, so once again, I'm going to put some glue on these. Now, I am aware that the uh, stage one and two that I did was roughly about... There we go. They just sort of sit up on the... Let's show you on that top camera. Can you see they just sit up on a ledge there so they don't push all the way in there. But just make sure that they're square. Um, yeah, the first part was about half an hour long, I think. Um, I mean, I could have taken some dump out of that. And then there we go. That's the second one in just there. Show you on the top camera and on the side camera. So we've got all the uh, chairs in. That was step uh, two done. Step three. We're going to be putting in uh, this section here, which is called the uh, missile launcher base into the rectangular space behind the cockpit. Uh, basically, this can only go in one way. You've got a sort of like indent here, which is going to be going around the hole. That's going to be going in just like that. And again, we're going to be gluing this in place. Just seeing what the, what's actually holding this in. Uh, I think it's probably going to be best to glue these bottom bits. You're not going to be able to see them. So I'm going to glue the bottom bits here. Little dab there. Little dab there. And we'll put that bit in. That's perfect. Looking like that. That was step three. Okay, step four, we're going to be using this cockpit area. It's got two sides. This is the side that's going to be facing out into the cockpit. And this is the side that we're going to be attaching this bit, which is the um, control or the cockpit lighting. Uh, this basically just slots into the back there. This is step four. This doesn't need glue in. I'll explain why that's done in a minute. So step four, we've slotted that in and we do have a gap. See on the side camera there, just in the middle there. Uh, that's very important. We're going to need that soon. Uh, next bit, we've got this lighting module here. So let's untangle this little mess. Uh, it's, this is uh, obviously to start the illumination in the cockpit area. Uh, it's nice that we get this out of the way in pack one. I think that's excellent. Uh, it might be worth when you first get this is just to check that you have got contacts to the motherboard and you haven't got any broken wires because otherwise it's going to be a hell of a lot of mess trying to untangle things and stuff like that. Uh, right, these fit basically you've got two holes here so that the lamps on these are just going to fit into the holes. Just like so. I don't suppose it matters what way round it goes to be honest with you. Uh, but that's how I put it on R1 there. Uh, so that's step five. And step six, we're going to be bringing the cockpit over. And this whole thing is going to be slotting into this groove area. Uh, that I'll show you on the top camera there that we've got there. Okay, before we put this into the cockpit area, we're going to make sure that this wire is coming down and to the right. Sort of like that. Because when I put this in, as you can see, it's going to be going down and to the right there. So it's going to be uh, out the way of the missile launchers that we've got there. So once we've got it in, a bit fiddly. There we go. Whoops. That's in just like that. Now you can glue this in place to make it a little bit more of a tough bond. I don't think I'm going to do that. It does say in step six to glue it, but uh, unless I need to, I'm not going to do that uh, yet. Uh, but the most important thing on this stage is to make sure that we fed the wire out underneath and that it's not going on top. So that's step six. Uh, I'm going to put that to one side again because step seven, uh, we're going to be playing with these little things. Now in the introduction video, I called these jets because look, they do. They look like little jets. Uh, they're actually missiles. <laughs> I didn't realise that. <laughs> okay, we're going to be doing the missile launcher. So we need this bit here. And we're going to be gluing these missiles into the missile launcher. They can only go one way round because if they go the other way, they're going to be hanging off the ends. They basically follow the trail, so they're going to be going a little bit like that. So let's get these glued in. Little tapper glue. Definitely the... Uh, the theme of today, apart from gluing, is don't you don't need too much glue. A dot will suffice. As soon as I see some liquid on there, I'm happy. So there we go. We've got two missiles in there. I'd still think they look like jets. I have to say, but the missiles look pretty cool. Uh, that was step seven. Step eight. We're going to be putting this uh, piece in here. This is the uh, 
rack stay they've called it it can only go in one way but the smaller of the tubes goes to the bottom so as you can see you've got some holes on this to line up with the uh, little extrusions there we put them in and that's going to be going in there i'm guessing that's going to be glued so uh, we'll get some glue on there little tap one two they've definitely uh, put the 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 smaller ends this end here towards the back so i'm putting that in exactly the same way that they've got it in the uh, magazine there or the instructions should i say because when this goes in it's going to be corresponding with the holes on here you see and we want the missiles to be facing forward so that's going to be going in just like that now once you put that in as you see it just falls all the way to the base okay step nine uh, because this actually just fits all the way down there we want this to be able to lift up and down and that's what's used for this piece here now this piece is going to be fitting over here but obviously we want to get this into here uh, it's going to be a pretty tricky fix so i'm going to give it some welly and some force it is going to be a tight fit and we'll get this in now what you'll notice on this when i'm putting this in this uh, extrusion here even when it's pushed in is a lot bigger than this hole uh, i am going to make this hole just a touch bigger and i've got a really small file to do that job with so i'm just going to give it a little file to make it a little bit bigger there we go just push that bit in and now the missile launcher is attached to this lifter all it took is a little tidy file i've got there just to open that hole up a little bit so that it looks like that when we've got it in there so that was step 10 that was quite a tricky step actually but it does allow the missile launchers to go up and down look look pretty cool okay we're going to put this to one side because we're bringing over the top piece <laughs> which is i haven't seen this for ages okay so what we're going to do is we're going to fit the nose assembly from stage one and place the missile hatch over the rectangular hole so this is the missile hatch here this is the rectangular hole so we'll turn this upside down uh, this is just going to be fitting into one place it's going to be fitting in that way and it's going to just slot in just like that okay step 12 we're going to be taking this whole unit that we fitted together here and we're going to be putting it face down onto this section now the way to line this up is this top piece here will be lining up with that hole just there and you've got two other pieces which fit on these three bits here well once they're in we're going to screw this down and with the screws that they gave us at the start which i've got completely ready and i get to use the screwdriver that they uh, sent with us this screwdriver is not magnetic i'm going to use another screwdriver that's magnetic that way it's easier to screw them in so let's get the first one in going to hold the thing in excellent second one good thing is all these screws are the same size so we don't have to worry about are we using the right screw <laughs> and last but not least here's the third one There is quite a few screws here. You're looking at uh, five, uh, three, oh, six in total. Because you've got three there. And then you've got one in the middle here. Which is going in absolutely lovely. So that's everything screwed in there. And that's the stage complete. Basically that's what it looks like for the top now so you can start to see the cockpit through the window there see on the top camera actually and obviously the missile bay will be sliding backwards and forwards to release these missiles when they come up look looks like that but i need the uh the, the little motor thing to pump that up uh we will be having that and i'm guessing that's the use of this spring here but we'll see that because i'm sure we're going to come back to this before the build's on uh but that is that stage complete uh, next stage we're going to be building Thunderbird 4 how cool is that this is stage um, is this still this is still part of stage 3 according to this so that's pretty cool isn't it uh, these are the parts for Thunderbird 4 so let's just get them all out Ooh, don't want to lose anything right and that's completely empty excellent okay first thing we're doing it looks like we're gluing again uh, we're going to be having a sort of cockpity area which is this area here that's the piece i was looking at this is step one and we're going to use super glue to affix the figurine gordon tracy which is this little tiny thing here into there uh this is going to be tricky because it's very very detailed i might have to use my tweezers for the first time so dab of glue there we go i think i am going to use my tweezers for this one so i'm going to hold 
Mr. Tracy by the head <laughs> and we'll get him in here. This is where I go a little bit quiet while I'm just lining him up because he has got a little slot to sit in. Just like that. There you go. And that's Gordon Tracy sitting in Thunderbird 4 there. Okay, uh, that was step one. Step two, we're going to fit the nose assembly. No no glues required for this one. So this is basically the uh, bit with the shield on. That's just going to clip over the top here. So uh, we'll put that in. Just make sure I put it in the right way. It slots in sort of like that. There we go. And it just clips in. So we've got... <laughs> look at that from the back there. <laughs> How cool is that? Step three, we're going to have this piece here with number Thunderbird 4 on and we're going to be fitting the rear panel to it. That's just basically going to go in there. Uh, this will need a bit of glue, so I'm going to tap a bit of glue onto there. This is quite easy to put together, the old Thunderbird 4, I have to say. Give that a nice squeeze. Um, I am providing a bit of pressure onto this just to make sure that glue's very good in place. I'm going to keep hold of it while I read the next stage. Uh, step four, we're going to be fitting some nozzles onto the lower body part boosters. Uh, the nozzles are these bits that are in the plastic here. Uh, I think it's okay to move that to one side now and we'll get these out. As we know, last time I tried this they went everywhere. Not this time though. <laughs> okay, we're going to be fitting these over the boosters here. Again, this just needs a little dab of glue at the back there. So I put a little bit on this one. Perfect. A little bit on that one. Perfect. Uh, make sure you put them on the right way. They can only go on one way really, but there we go. So They do need a bit of force to push on. But once they're on, they are held pretty well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push them down onto here to make sure they're square. That is excellent. And there we go, there the back boosters on. Looking good. Uh, okay, step five, we're gonna fit the upper, upper body part, which is this piece here, to the lower body part. And again, you've got uh, little tabs, which it can only go in one way again. Uh, and that's gonna be fitted in just like that. I'm guessing this is gonna be glued again. So uh, I am gonna just try and squeeze it, just see if it does. Nope, don't need gluing at all. Does it say it needs gluing? Doesn't say it needs gluing, so I'm not gluing it. But that's basically the back area of it. Okay, step six, we're going to be gluing the front to the back. Uh, basically, we're going to put a little bit of glue just around the edge here. And this little tab here just goes in the space just under the unit here. So let's just tap some glue on this. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. I'm just going to put a little dab there, there, a little bit there, a little bit there, just to hold it in place. And now this is probably going to take some brute strength, but basically I'm going to feed that bit at the bottom there and then push it, get this whole thing to fit together. Now I don't mind telling you that took some squeezing, <laughs> but we got that in eventually. So that's the uh, top area in, uh, really secure. Uh, next one, we're going to slot the fan in, which goes at the top here. So a little bit of glue, this is step seven. Doesn't need much at all. Put that in just like so. That's that. And the last but not least, we're going to be putting the uh, the front light area. It's sort of like a light or it's a trough uh, area into the front of this. Now, it only uh, just clips in at each side. doesn't need glue. So we could just put one side in there, one side in there, and that's the troughed area. And that's Thunderbird 4 completed. What do you think of that? That looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Especially with the little uh, figurine in there as well. Uh, but that's another support vehicle done. Uh, and now we're on stage four. This is the last stage. We're gonna put this to one side. We're gonna be uh, completing the nose assembly. So the first thing we do is take over this uh, bottom bit here and we're gonna be putting in this flat uh, lower hatch. Uh, it can only go in one way. Basically the tabs on this side uh, with the two facing outside will be going towards the bottom. So that's just going to sit, sit in just like that. That was step one. Step two, we're going to be putting this section over the top of it. Again, you've got this piece here, which is extruding from the back. This is going to be facing towards the rear of the ship. So this is going to be going in just like so, just over that hatch there. Uh, and this is going to be screwed in uh, with the screws that we've got given on the last one, which I'm just going to open. Get some scissors out. Bang. <laughs> I always have a problem getting screws out of pots, if you notice that. And I don't know why that is, even with scissors. Okay, so we're going to screw this in. Uh, 
I do like how you've got lots of hatches and openings and secret compartments and doorways that open on this model. This is every kid's dream back in the uh, 60s and 70s. I did like the whole uh, secret compartment thing, especially in films like, um, I'm trying to think back then, early 80s, who remembers Condor Man? Michael Crawford. That's the sort of thing I like, with gadgets and missiles coming out of boxes and sports cars coming out, coming out of caravans. Excellent stuff. Okay, so this is the last screw in. Four screws this is being held in by. And that's step three done. Make sure they're in nice and tight. Perfect. Okay, uh, next stage. We're going to be putting these side bits on. So let's bring these over here. Uh, basically, again, they can only fit in one way. So you're going to be having... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I say they can only fit in one way, but... Uh, I've, I'm putting them in the wrong way already. This one here is going to be going over to this side here. Now, at the moment, all they're doing is uh, just sitting like that. We're not gluing anything or anything like that. We're just putting these to seat in this position here. And that's the second one in. Uh, what you do want to make sure of, though, when you do this, is that the actual sides are completely flush. That one isn't at the moment because we are going to be meeting this with the top piece now. And we don't want anything uh, getting in the way of that. But that's basically step four done. Okay, and the last stage is step five and six. We're just going to be doing a test fit for these. And basically, as you can see, we've got the missile lifter here. We're going to be putting a spring over that, making sure that this cable at the back is coming out the back. And then we're going to be put offering these two bits together. This is going to be pretty tricky. But uh, once it's in, we're not securing this, just so you know. We're just seeing, making sure we've got a test fit, making sure everything's working around there. It's looking good, looking good underneath. We've got the little hatch there. Just push that down, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and obviously we've got the missile launcher that pops up when the uh, missiles come out. Uh, so that is pretty cool. That's uh, the Thunderbird 2 done of the nose cone. Uh, the last stage of this is talking about how to do a diorama. And I'll put this little splash up so you can see the instructions. Uh, just a little diorama of the uh, elevator lift that we had there. Um, but that was pack one. And I really enjoyed that. And uh, as you see, these are the pictures of the things that we've made here. We've made the um, elevator lifter. Uh, obviously, we've done the front nose cone and we've got Thunderbird 4 there as well. Um, pretty happy with that. And I'm itching to get on with stage two uh, or pack two, which is stages, I don't know, five to whatever. We'll see. <laughs> Hope you like that video. Uh, remember to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't, you'll get notifications of uh, new videos as I put them out. Uh, other than that, take care.